Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my Four Star School YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the navigation in the Flutter. Also, here is a quick reminder. And in this channel, I'm going to share my experience, my knowledge about how to become a four star software developer. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification. I will keep uploading those awesome content related to four star development. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. In this lesson, I'm going to build two page and one button. So the scenario is when you click the button, you will be navigated from the first page to the second page. And also, I will teach you how you can customize the change action uh, when you navigate from first page to the second page. Okay, let's go back to our Visual Studio Code. And here you can see I have already connected with my Android emulator. And inside this map.tar, uh, I just declare very basic stateless widget and wrap with the material app widget. Uh, Cause we're going to use the default material widget inside our application. So we also place the scaffold in home attribute of this material app. So you can see here is a white screen, a whiteboard occupy this entire screen. And this is scaffold. So inside scaffold, we write our uh, text widget, which is this navigation and also wrap with the center. So you can see this text is in the center of this screen. Okay, so we will start from this point and here I'm going to declare uh, two pages, right? So the first page will just a button and the second page is just a text widget to display this is our uh, second page. Okay, so in order to do this, I'm going to remove everything from this uh, inside this material app. So I'm going to declare our first page. So I'm going to use this uh, shortcut, which will be stateless the widget, and I'm going to call it our first page. And here I don't think I need this uh, constructor for now. And we will talk about how we can like uh, pass the data for only first page to the second page. So during that time, we may need to implement this uh, constructor. Okay, don't worry, I'm going to talk it later. So inside our first page, I'm going to declare a button. So, but first I need to wrap it with our scaffold, scaffold widget, which is uh, this white ball, right? And also inside this scaffold, we have this body attribute. And inside this body attribute, I'm going to declare our button. So I'm just using this elevated button. And inside this button, I'm going to implement the two uh, attribute, which is required. The first one is this on pressed. And the second one will be this trial. So the trial, trial will be the text widget. And I'm going to say the first page and also I will probably wrap it with the center. And also I'm going to uh, place this first page inside our material app. Okay, let's save. Yes, you can see our first page is show on the screen. And probably I will give this scaffold uh, app bar so you can see it more clear. Here is our first page, so I save it. You will see our app bar, and also we'll give the title be our first first page. Right. Okay, let's save. So here is our first page. So I'm going to implement another page. So which is our second page? Still, I use this shortcut 
for status the widget and I name it with the second page and also I will delete this constructor for now so in the second page as you can see he uh, the second page uh, I still need to uh, decide I uh, use this scaffold right because it's it is a completely a new page so I still need to wrap this container with this scaffold I will wrap with the widget and it will be scaffold also scaffold don't have this child attribute we have this body instead we have this body attribute so inside this body uh, we may have uh, a center widget right the center widget we have this text widget and also we'll call it it will display the second page right also I would like to give it the app bar and which will say this uh, also have the title which indicate this is our second page and to wrap it with title and the text widget okay let's save okay here is our second page so I can replace the first page with the second page and I save yeah you see this is our second page okay so we recover to the first page and then I'm going to show you how we can navigate from the first page to the second page okay let's go back to our agenda and as you can see here there are two methods we can use inside this navigator so the navigator would be default provided by flutter SDK there are two methods inside this navigator class so the first one would be the pushed method and the second one would be this popped method and we're going to use this pushed method to navigate from our first page to the second page so let's back to Visual Studio Code and inside this on press the anonymous function I'm going to use the navigator right dot push method so I'm going to pass two parameter the first one would be the context so I can just grab these contacts from our build method and the second one would be the route route right by default flutter provides some uh, route classes which extend these uh, extra route class we can use and to pass inside this push the method and the one I'm going to use is this material patch route so go back to uh, Visual Studio Code and I'm going to use our material patch route so the material patch route by default you also require a parameter which is this builder so inside this builder uh, when you move your mouse you see it will also require a function which took these parameter the build contents as the parameter so we could also grab these contents from our build method and pass it here and then we need to return a page we will like uh, navigate to so here I return the second page right okay that's it so I save by default material page raw will implement the transition between two page and the transition will be from bottom to top right so the second page will uh, show from bottom to top so let's try it so and like uh, let's see when I click this first page oh you navigate to the second page and it by default will uh, pop from bottom to top yeah it's hard to see I know here right and I just go back you see it will pop up from bottom to top right you see here okay and here uh, we have another uh, page route provided by flutter it will be this cupertino page route so I'm going to use this one so I think this one would be when you actually use this one you need to import a class which is this cupertino dar and when you save it uh, by default I think you will implement a slide transaction so the page will from the right to the left 
right? So when you click it, you see here a, a little effect is this uh, slight transaction. So the second page will from the right to the left is transaction. Okay, so you see. And also, I, I know some of you just uh, going to say, uh, how can we implement our own custom transaction? And the third way is we can implement our tra uh, custom transaction by using this page route builder. So we are trying to implement this page round builder. So we change this to page round builder. By change to page round builder, we need to uh, pass our page round. So I'm going to delete everything inside here. Inside this page route builder, uh, we need to implement it is required and then parameter, which is this page builder. So in this page builder, uh, it will receive the con con uh, build context and the animation, and also will return a widget, uh, which is our second page, right? So in here, I will receive the con context, and also, so, for simple, I just send EC, also the animation one, animation two, and you will return our second page, right? Second page, and then we will implement our transition builder because we want an, our custom transition, right? So move your mouse. In here, you see uh, this transition builder. We will also accept these contacts and animation one and animation 2 which is the star animation and anim end animation and also the widget so which is the uh, child widget okay and also you return a um, widget so I'm going to return uh, so for here I think I'm going to return this fade transaction because I want to use this kind of animation so I'm going to return this uh, fade transaction. Here I also use C and A1 and A2, and also it is child. So, and inside this fade transaction, we need to pass this required and parameter would be capacity. So capacity would be so the trans and uh, transition. So, and we could pass this A1 transition and also the other would be a uh, child child and also I pass the child here so I save and last one would be we can declare our transition duration we need to pass the duration and also can pass second I'll probably take five seconds so we save that's trying to see our custom transition Okay, let's press this button. You'll see because we give it five seconds, so you will took a little bit long and you see we have this fade transaction. Let's keep some background so you can see this uh, transition much clearer. And I will probably wrap this with our container, uh, center widget with the container. I'll give the color. Uh, I will give the uh, probably okay, green green color right? and also under uh, for the second page I wrap it with container as well and also will set the color to something like yellow okay so let's say and I press this button again Okay, first we need to navigate back to our first page, All right? This is a green color, right? So when I click this first page, so watch careful. So I click it. You see this page actually turned to yellow, right? With this uh, ch uh, fade transition. So I can change this to two seconds. Maybe it's much quicker. So I go back to my previous page. I click it. See, yeah, it's much better now. So we could also implement our custom transaction uh, by trying different uh, uh, 
a transition class, right? We have a phase transition, which already defined by Flutter's DK, and also the slide transition, and also the scale transition. And here I only list out the top three uh, transition we will use most frequently. Okay, back to Visual Studio Code. And as you can see here, so if we have this app bar, uh, by default, the Flutter on the, sec uh, on the second page will implement this uh, go back button for us. So let me comment out our uh, app bar for the second page. So I just save it. You see, we cannot go back to our previous page, right? So, so how are we going to do this? I'm going to implement another button in our second page, and I'm trying to use this uh, navigator dot pop method. So, inside this uh, center rig uh, center widget, I wrap another widget. I think it would be still this elevator elevated button, right? And also, when to implement this. Uh, on tab, on press, on press, mister, and it should be a uh, uh, anonymous mister, and I will using navigator. Dot pop. I need to pass the contact. So let's save. You see, I have this second page. So when I click it, I will go back to my first page. Will have which is uh these. Uh, green background page. So I click it. You see, we now navigate back to our first page. Right. Okay. So you may notice. Uh, some people will write something like this. Navigator. Uh, you're using another. This one of context. And dot plot. Right, I think uh, those are uh, uh, very similar. Alright, so could you also write in this way? So I save. It still do the same stuff. Alright, the same for this push method. We could write something like navigator. Dot up context and pass context here and use the push method. So inside this one. You remove your mouse. You see, we only need these uh, route object, right? But if we, because we already uh, pass our contacts in here, yeah, this is just another way. So you can choose uh, uh, either way you prefer. Okay, I think that's all for today's video. I hope now you got more understanding of how navigation work in the Flutter. And also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will continue upload the latest Flutter tutorial. Okay, thanks. And also I will really appreciate your time and your support for this channel. And I will see you in next video.